everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and on today's Editing Tip Tuesday, I want to share with you how you can create a photo collage in Photoshop. Now, photo collages are kind of cool because you can use them for a lot of different things. You can create a photo collage to make a card, or maybe you want to showcase several images together on your blog or on your social media profile, or maybe you want to create a collage that combines many pictures of your family or your kids that you can put all together and print up as one big photo. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. So I have this collage up here, but the one I'm gonna create will be a little bit different. I've pulled up some pictures of my daughter Cosette and they're pictures of her from throughout the years and I want to put them all together onto one 16 by 24 um, print. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go up to File, New, and when you do this, you're gonna see all kinds of dimensions that pop up. The cool thing about creating a photo collage is you can make it whatever size you want to make it. So I know I wanna hang this collage up in a frame that's 16 by 24. So I'm gonna change this to inches, and I want my, my width to be uh, 24 and I want my height to be 16 inches. I'm gonna make my resolution 300 and I want the background to be white. So the background borders can be any color you want them to be. I just like the, the classic white for this one here. And I'm gonna hit create. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my grid up over this so that I can make sure that my my measurements and my lines are accurate. So I'm gonna come up to View, Show, Grid. And that's gonna give me a grid that covers my 16 by 24 image and it's gonna help me really um, make sure that my lines are accurate and the same size, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, or the next thing I'm gonna do, is grab this rectangular marquee tool. And if you wanted to make your collage with uh, circles, you could do that too. You could grab the uh, elliptical marquee tool, but just to keep it simple on this one, we're gonna stick with the rectangle. Now with these grids selected, I know exactly where to put my cursor, and I'm gonna make sure it's right here on this box, and I'm just gonna drag it, and I'm gonna pick the size. It can be whatever size that you want, and I'm gonna click there, okay? From there, I'm going to right click and click layer via copy. And when I do that, you're gonna see over here, the next, a new layer pops up. I want that to become a different color because I want to clearly be able to see that later on. So I'm just gonna come over here. I'm gonna pick any color. I'm gonna to go to my paint bucket tool, which is right over here and just click. And that gives me a nice clear outline so that I can see that first layer. All right, I'm gonna come back down to the background layer, hit that rectangular marquee tool again, line it up so that that cursor is even, and I'm gonna drag my next box down. Okay, so I'm gonna get it right in there. Again, I'm gonna right click, layer via copy, and you'll see my next layer, layer number two, pops up there. To make it clear and easy, I wanna pick another color. So I'm gonna come over to my color pickers and just click. I'm gonna pick, a, it doesn't matter what color you pick, it's just to help with organization. Click OK. And with that paint bucket, I click on it like that. So I've just gone ahead to save time and so you don't get super bored watching me. And I just did the same exact steps to add in these other colored squares on my template. Once you create your own template, it's a good idea to save the PSD file so that you can pull it up again and use it at another time. But to save you even more time, I'm just gonna give you this one for free if you would like to use this photo collage for your own work. So if you would like this photo collage, just head over to the Cozy Clicks blog at cozyclicks.com forward slash collage, and you can download and use this one for free. 
Now let's take a look at how we're going to add our photos into the collage. So here's the yellow box here, and I see it clearly over in my layers panel. So I'm gonna click that layer one, because that's where I want my first picture to lay, is this yellow box here. I'm gonna to go to File, Place Embedded, and I'm gonna choose the first picture that I want to go there. Okay. So I'm gonna bring over, and you're gonna see it doesn't, it doesn't fit. So we have to do some readjusting here. So with my shift key pressed down, I'm just gonna drag this to a size that fits over the box and I'm gonna put it over that box directly, okay? Now it still doesn't fit, so what you have to do is click on the picture over here. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose Create Clipping Mask. See, when I do that, it makes my image the correct size. So let's do that again, but now we're going to work with the blue box. So I'm going to come over here because I want my picture to be here. I'm going to come to that blue box, File, Place Embedded. I'm going to choose my next picture and hit Place, and I'm going to drag it there. Once again, it doesn't fit there, so I have to select Shift, and then I just um, right-click to adjust the size of my photo. And then I'm going to come over to my layer panel. I'm going to right click and choose Create Clipping Mask. And it makes my photo fit in there. Now I've gone ahead and just filled in the last two photos so that you don't have to watch me fill in every single one. But once you have it complete, if you want to take a look at it without that grid, just go back up to View, Show and then click grid so it goes away. And there's what your final collage would look like. And like I said, you could use this to post on your blog or on your social media pages, or you could print this up and hang it in your home with a frame or use it as a card. There's a lot of cool things you can do with photo collages. And like I said, you can grab this template if you want so you can add in your own photos over on the blog for free. It's CozyClicks.com forward slash collage. Thank you so much for watching and learning with me today. I hope that you learned how to create a photo collage of your own. I always appreciate your likes and comments on my videos. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I would appreciate if you would. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. If you'd like to join me in my new portrait editing online workshop, you can for free. You can register in the link below or by going to CozyClicks.com forward slash the workshop. Hope to see you over there.